Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to start a brand new Let's Play of Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. Now we got a beta with two missions, but now we got a beta with six ones and unit progression. So we're going to play that. I don't know if we're going to do all six missions, but we're definitely going to do many, many episodes of this game because it's a Warhammer 40,000 game. How could you not play? If you want to see me play the other Warhammer 40,000 game, called for him report doesn't mechanicus there will be a link to the let's play in the description and now let's get going also if you watch my other two betas there was a bad video quality but here it's going to be perfect i really really hope so let's go age of crimson dawn when i've been playing on the astartes difficulty because that's the default they're the defenders of humanity and they shall know no fear Following the devastation of Baal, the Blood Angels worked to heal their homeworld and their chapter. Saved from the brink of extinction by the Indometus Crusade, they now find their ranks bolstered by new Primaris space marines. Few remnants of the Tyranid invasion remain, and Primarch Robert Guliman is eager to leave Baal and continue with his crusade. So Giancarlan of the Eighth Company returns to Baal Secundus and has been tasked to assess the battle readiness of these new primary soldiers. <laughs> As the drop pod hurdles towards his home moon, he considers the arrival of these new battle brothers and the cast of his unlikely survival against the relentless high flight with low time. If you're wondering why I'm laughing, it's because I don't know half of these words, and if you're trying to read, not necessarily quickly, but like with a certain pace, and then it's like it's like running and someone's throwing boulders in front of you, like, ah, uh, what? But now the game will talk. Because they have a lot of epic voiceovers. Time flows in contradiction since the invasion. There's an unexpected slowness in the aftermath of an impossible victory. A languid sweetness of air, tasted by the hapless victor. And yet, I also feel the turning of change. And the accumulated minutiae that falls to the survivors. Corpses to be burned. Fortifications to be rebuilt. Neophytes to be blooded. Regardless of our losses, we are the angels of death. And we are always prepared for war. Not that these are concerns for the fledgling Primaris right now. Balfora is an unforgiving tutor. Dante says that you are blood angels. Prove it. Show me that the blood of the great angel flows within your veins. On it, boss. Your orders. Yep, new orders it is. All right, so here we've got our people. We've got some intercessors. We've got some aggressors over here. And we're going to get this thing started. So if you haven't seen the other Let's Play, that's okay. I'm going to walk you through it. So here we've got evasion. This lowers the accuracy of enemy attacks. Here we've got armor, reduces the damage taken from enemy attacks, movement, and action points. What's important is that you can, action points are used to do attacks and movement are moving. You can attack, you can move, attack, move, you can split it however you want. When you hover over an attack ability, for example, this bolt rifle, you can see these uh, circles around. I apologize, the cable cut a little bit weird. Anyway, as you click over, over here, you can see the range of the weapons where the circle is the brightest and the biggest it means that that's the best range for the weapon so what we're gonna do is we can see here that it's essentially three hexes to the left or to the right actually it seems yeah three hexes to the left or to the right so we're gonna step over here to give us the best range at this monster now you can also see here if you hover over this a chance to hit a 75 percent and does three to five damage 45 times this is really important because some attacks do multi do slow damage many times but some attacks do for example 30 damage but only let's say two or three times and you really got to figure out based on the enemy which is the best so if you have like eight enemies with 25 health it's better to have more attacks with um with smaller damage so let's attack And now we can go back. Now this is important because we have cover, so this is going to be quite useful for us. Now we're going to grab this group, and we're going to use the assault rifle as well. 3 to 5, 40 times, it should allow us to kill this unit. Beautiful. And now I think we're going to try to hide over here. This should give us cover against enemies who might come from this way or something. 
Or maybe here from the bottom. We don't know where they're coming from. Now, these assaulters... Sorry, aggressors. They have a lot of really cool weapons. So first of all, they have Boltstrom Gauntlet. Again, if you hover here, you can see 2 to 3 damage 72 times. Free Storm Grenade Launcher, but this is for a distance attack. And then Boltstrom Gauntlet, which does the high damage, but only a few times. So we definitely want to use this um, Boltstrom Gauntlet, the one that does small damage many times. Beautiful. And now, oh, they get an attack on us if, if we run. So we're going to grab these guys. Check their weapon. The best attack is three hexes away. So we're going to move with them over here and attack these Harmer Johns. And we kill them all. Yeah. Now I could run away, but presumably they're going to get an opportunity attack on us because you can see it by the, by the arrow there. Now to be fair, He's going to do very low attack because he's like all alone there. But I don't think we want to waste it. So we're just going to stand there. Got another bunch of units over here. We've got Assault Squad. So what I'm going to try to do here... I've got the jump back. So what I could do is I could jump... Oh, they're actually still alive, these guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump... I'm going to jump here. I didn't realize they were still alive. And we're going to use the... We still have an attack? I think we do. Yeah, we're gonna use the chain sword on the enemy here. Okay. And then we've got Surgeon Carlin over here. Also has a jump back, so he could jump away. But I think... What is his attack? He has a chain sword. So let's actually move over here. And I think we're not gonna run away with him. Instead we'll use Overwatch and if someone sort of gets up close to him then again, the enemies have range attacks, so maybe we should... Do we want to jump and hide? Now he's no coward. I am not a coward. Okay, so. Any other units that haven't done anything? Good. So we're just going to end our turn and go. Oh, they're hidden here. Interesting. I don't think we have any overwatch over in this area. That's okay. Okay, they're going to attack. I love how they kind of spread out around this unit. It's just this game has so much attention to detail. It's kind of amazing. And this lonely guy, like I'm going to kill him so fast. Oh, a new unit. Oh, they wasted their, their actions on movement. Now our goal, by the way, is to, is to destroy seven Harmajans, just so you know. You won't be able to get close enough to actually kill anyone. No. So we're gonna move here and we're gonna start attacking over here. I was trying to see if I could move with him here and kill this lonely unit because I don't want to waste attack of these aggressors on that. And he is typically not that strong. Now, if you're doing... Uh, another important thing about this game is that you can gain momentum. And you gain momentum depending on how close you are to the units that you kill. So if you kill a unit, you'll get bonus. So certain... Um, units like these aggressors that are really good at melee you can really work up their momentum and if you get their momentum high enough you can upgrade the unit or get an extra action point so especially in the because your units are, are moving between missions it can be useful to try to really focus on giving momentum to a specific unit so for example we would want to give all the kills to the aggressors so it actually might be a good idea to kill this thing with them even though only one unit is really not much so we're gonna see if they could finish off for example this unit because we could then upgrade them and that would be quite useful but first let's focus over here let's use a chainsaw okay so we killed three out of five nice and you can see that that already gave him some momentum because he killed some of these units now here we could also with assault squad we could also use a chainsaw which would be 20 to 35 damage five times. So we actually have a chance to insta-kill these things. So let's do it. So the Assault Squad is another great unit for uh, for trying to get this momentum points. We, uh, so we didn't quite kill them. You can see they have a little bit of HP left. So that's actually not great. They gave us a very few attack ready. points. Okay. Now, I can pretty easily kill these guys. Let's do it. 
I do sometimes wonder if a better strategy would be because I, I don't know if we heal between missions, but if we do, had we left these guys alive so that the next turn we could kill them with the assault squad to get more momentum? But I don't know if we're gonna be able to get them to 100 anyways. So it might not like not be the smartest thing, but. Now they killed a lot. I was kind of hoping they would leave them more like injured instead of straight up dead. But this would give us two to three seventy-two times. That should kill at least. We'll have a guarantee kill of two. Yeah, let's do it. We can let that guy attack us again, no problem. Seriously? Oh man. See, this is when you try to be like too smart for your own good. Have I used an attack with you yet? No. Yes. Yes, well, how about you? You've got a good attack one, two, three away from you. Moving. I'm gonna hit these guys again. Let's try the co or what the warning here means. We're at thirst. Oh, that we are engaged. Okay, so we can walk away. Yeah, that's fine. Your orders. That's fine. Okay, you have an extra action. You can do anything. So let's just get an overwatch. Wait, can I, I can move with you. Let's get, just get an overwatch maybe... Maybe that way. Alright, let's end the turn. Get hit here again. So it's like, you know, you're trying to optimize for that and it's just like not working at all. I love how he, that guy and these two just like completely ignored it. Like, we do not care at all. Like, the, come on. Line squad ready. Okay. I, am the sword of Sanguinius. My fury I could jump fast. back there. Does it cost an action point? It does not. And then I could do two attack. You know what? Yeah, let's get the momentum on our big guy over here. Because these other ones, they're just not doing it. So let's do a chain sword. This would kill two people. And the pistol is worse. So we'll use a chain sword over here. And then he could kill two people again. Since he can, oh, I might just let him kill one guy. Yeah, I'll kill this one. So we gain some momentum here. Up to 20. Now if I take a step back, I could use the grenade launcher. It's some splash damage, but... Or I could come... You know what, no, let's... Uh, wait, uh, the, the assault squad, they were also really, really good at damage. If I jump with you, you know what, let's, let's use the Assault Squad and these guys will use the, the Grenade Launch. I think the Assault Squad might be even better to do melee than, than the Aggressors. So Chainsword, you can kill up to five people if we get lucky. So let's try over this unit. No right mm -mm. Not a single attack, not a single kill. That was very disappointing. Very disappointing. Alright, alright, whatever. Now it's time for grenade launcher. Just finish these guys off, it's fine. But they're not gonna get much momentum. You can see it's plus one even though they killed a lot of people because they're far away. So that's why if you have ranged units, it's not necessarily worth it to try to... I might need to go a step closer after. To try to like get give them the kills because they just don't have they just won't get much momentum. I mean, you can try at times, but... I'm gonna move them closer so that we could move some of our other people over here. Intercessors... Yeah, let's move you this way. Though... <laughs> I know I said that, and now if you look at the momentum of these guys, they have it actually pretty high, but... You can, you can still see that it's like not the best. I'm gonna try to get someone at the momentum, okay? To be fair, we only need to kill three units, so we're gonna end this this mission very quickly, but... Yeah. And turn. 
Yeah, I kind of thought he would do better with the chainsaw. So you seen all the enemies are in the opposite direction? Come on. All right. So if I move over here, can I see someone? Anyone? Yes, I can. But these are the aggressors. They don't exactly have the best shot for a distance. So I'm just going to have to use Overwatch here. Hope they come to me. Just don't have really good shot. Now, here we do have cover. Unfortunately, the enemies will also have cover. So, still, we're going to try to aim in this direction. Move these intercessors around. Maybe here as well. And we'll move sergeant and maybe this way. And we're gonna give them all overwatch in this direction. Uh, can I straight up shoot at it, by the way? I know this has like so much cover, but I mean, it's worth an attempt. Oh, that actually wasn't half bad. 42 momentum. Let's give overwatch over here. When they come to attack us, we might be able to do some nice damage. And you have overwatch in that direction. I didn't do that properly. Okay, and you are gonna have overwatch this way. Because my hope is that if once they sort of come in range, we'll do better damage than if you just try to shoot them with the cover that they currently have. Also, I don't know if I said that yet, but sometimes if a unit is sort of charging, at you and you do enough damage to it you can sort of stop them from charging and this can be pretty useful so you can essentially stop them from attacking you completely oh this is actually even these guys got overwatch that's great so we get a lot of kills here but not much we could do with the momentum here all right let's let's move closer here use our bolt storm gauntlet so we're not gonna get any momentum it's okay I am curious about the healing between missions because if, for example, if you knew that you don't heal between, that you do heal between mission, that's what I meant to say, you could work for the momentum here. Like you could literally just like wait out and take three or four more turns because there's no turn limit in this mission. And then be like, I'm going to make sure that I focus this on, on, on these units, but. You can fight. I'll give you that. I don't know yet if you truly are scions of Sanguinius. Or just some ruse of the Archmagos. Battle will decide. It always does. Immediate assistance required. Tyranids converge at the Volkscaster relay on the cell Veritas western edge. Form on me, brothers. It appears Balfour has decided she's not yet done with you. Right, so here we can see the number of melee attacks, range attacks, and the accuracy. I love how these guys are like zero. Well, they didn't have any attacks, so I guess that's fine. And and we can click on these guys and kind of see what, what stuff we used with them. And we've got two tokens. So Now we're actually going to end the episode here. So click on the right to watch the next one.